Number nine then from the first paper of the 2014 National Five looks like a reverse percentage. Reverse in the sense that you've not to work out the answer because it's telling you the answer, you have to work out what you had to begin with. It says, however many you had to begin with, 80% of that was 480,000. Or rather, it stated it in reverse. 480,000 tickets were sold. That was 80% of the available ones. So how many were available? Well, there's two ways you could do it. You could do it by proportion, or could you do it by just solving the equation that would have worked out the answer. If you do it by proportion, you'd have said this. Well, say we use N to stand for the number of tickets. Then what this says is 80% of N was 480,000. The, the way I usually look at that is that that's an equation. I know how to find 80% and multiply by 0.8. So if I saw an equation like 2x equals 4, I wouldn't hesitate just to divide by 2, but never mind. One way of doing this then would be the proportion method, which would say, right, there's a statement. 80%. If I want to find all of N, I want 100%. So how can I get from 80 to 100? Well, if you divide by 8, you could get down to 10%. So dividing by 8, dividing by 8 is 60,000. And maybe I should put a good note what I did. Divided both sides of the equation by 8. Then how can I get all of N? That would be 100%. So I'd want to then multiply by 10. 10 times 60 is 600,000. And indeed, that's the method it gives in the Martin Scheme. And the three marks were, one for making that initial statement, that 80% of the original number. So that's the answer. Then for finding 10, and then for multiplying up. Right, and then the other method would have been, well, just take it as the factor. Still get the initial statement, but I might not have written it that way. I might have written for my original statement, rather than 80% of n is that, I might have said, well, 80% is 0.8. And that would be the original statement. 0.8 of n is 480. So straightforwardly, that's just a little equation. n must be 480 divided by 0.8. Divide by decimal. Don't. Multiply the top and the bottom by 10. So that would turn that into 8 and turn the top into having five zeros. Now, 8 into 48 goes 6, and then I've still got those five zeros. So I've still got the same answer, 600,000. So even though it doesn't give this particular method, that would still be the one, two, three marks. Which is surprising it didn't state that straight away, because that's normally what you would do later on, whenever you've got percentages involved in more complicated calculations. You'd have the factor in, so then it just becomes an ordinary equation.